Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create a 2D flat character using Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to choose a color scheme. Now I went to this website called Adobe Color. So the first thing you will need to do is you will need to choose a color scheme. Now this website Adobe Color enables you to find really good color schemes with colors that already match. So after you're, you know, you've chosen one, all you need to do is just take a screenshot of it and put it into Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to start with a new document in Adobe Illustrator and I'm just going to pick a, you know, 1000 by 1000 pixels and I'm going to copy and paste my color scheme and I'm just going to put it up here in the top uh, right hand corner. So the next thing that we have to do to create our character is all we are going to be using is simple shapes. So we're going to start off with using a rounded rectangle to create a shape. We're going to fill it in with a, a color and then we're going to add another circle and then we're just going to be duplicating all of these things. So. Underneath here, underneath the rectangle tool, you will find the rounded rectangle tool. And if you can't get to that, all you have to do is just right click on this and then you can get access to all these tools. So I'm just going to draw a rounded rectangle. Now, if I hold shift, it will create a perfect square. If I let go of shift, now I can actually create the, the rounded rectangle. So this is going to be used for the body. So. I'm just going to get the proportions, you know, sort of uh, correct. And now I'm, I'm going to fill it in with a color. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on the color that I want it to be filled in with. I don't want a stroke, so I'm going to make sure that my stroke settings are turned off. Okay. Then just press um, the select tool to unselect. So. I'm also going to add a circle in here. So I'm going to get the ellipse tool. Now with the circle, I'm, I want to make sure that I'm holding shift to get the perfect circle. And again, I don't want that color. So I'm going to change that color to say black. And there you have it. Now looking at my previous character, you can see that this rounded rectangle was used for the face, the body, and that's about it. There, there's a semicircle in there for part of the legs. So that's what I'm going to create next. I'm going to create another rounded rectangle and I'm going to use this for the face. So I'm going to go back around the rectangle tool, all right? And I'm going to draw it that. Now I'm going to change the color again. So I'm going to use that pinkish color. And I'm also going to change how round it is. So just by clicking any of these four points, you can actually change that. So if I just make it a little bit more round, now it's you know a bit softer on the edges. Now, once I have my three basic shapes with my you know various colors, I can now start to put my city character together. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with the the face. Okay, so I'm just going to move it over here. If you need to use the selection tool, you can either press V on the keyboard to select or you can um, just press it by clicking up there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hair. Now I'm going to duplicate this circle. So I'm going to hold Alt. Now you can see that there are two kind of uh, arrows there and that means that it's going to copy across. Now the circle went behind this, so I'm going to bring it to the front. And I do this by right clicking, arrange, and I can go bring to front. So now I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and I held shift while making it. And I'm just going to create another smaller circle to create the actual hair. Now I do want to put some hair on the sides. So I'm going to duplicate that and then go transform or arrange and then uh, center back and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. So these these things when you when you try and duplicate all these pink lines that say intersect and things like that. Now that's just trying to keep it in alignment. We can change the alignment a little bit later, but if you kind of just, you know, stick with it, you can kind of make sure that it's straight along the same plane 
um, just so it looks kind of even on both sides. So anyways, there's my hair made up of uh, four circles. Some are brought to the back and some are brought uh, to the front. The next thing I need is a set of eyes. So again, we're going to start off with our big circle. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller and then I'm just going to pop them in. If you can't see it, you need to go to arrange and then bring to front. I'm just going to modify those circles a little bit smaller. And once you're happy with one eye, then you can just duplicate that and bring it over. So there's my two little eyes. We then need a mouse. So again, same thing. I'm just going to bring my circle in there. I'm going to bring it to the front. So there's my face. You need to, you know, shift things up a little bit. You can always use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to add a small little, you know, area for the tongue and we do that by using the circle tool again. So I've got my color here ready to go. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and just bring this circle down a bit. I'm going to change that color and I'm just going to bring it up lightly just so the circles overlap. Now. To be able to get rid of the part of the circle that you do not need, you will need to use this tool which is called Pathfinder. So if you go to Windows, Pathfinder, and then if you highlight both of the shapes and click on this area over here which is called Divide, now I can actually go and delete part of the shapes that I don't need. So all I had to do was just double click to be able to get inside the, the shape and then I can just double click the section that I do not need. But once we've done that, we then can move on to the rest of the body. So the body, we've already got pretty much the body here ready to go. But now that we have the body here, we need a neck and we need, you know, to start to put the arms and legs. So we'll look something like this. So we're going to start with the neck and basically again copy and paste we're going to drag it down this time we're going to make it a bit thinner and I am going to hold shift to try and get some proportions in I'm just going to try and center it so it looks something like that and it's arranged fine um, it's behind uh, all this stuff but in front of the body so once I have that we then can move on to the next part of um, the character, which is going to be the legs. I'm just going to make this a little bit shorter. So now to create the legs, I'm just going to pick this other color that's in here, the green, to create the pants. And again, it's going to be a very similar thing. I'm going to use the circle. I'm just going to put the circle in there. So there I have the you know, it's a circle that's just behind this rounded rectangle. Now, if you don't really like how that, you know, sits, you can always use Pathfinder and divide and then, um, you know, you can cut away bits and pieces of the circle that you don't need. Next thing is to make the legs. So I'm just going to get another one of these rounded rectangles. Now, it's obvious what you do on one side, you need to make sure that you do on the other side as well. So once you're happy with the positioning of one leg, then you can just duplicate that and create the other leg. Now you have to be a little bit careful here because you don't want these uh, overlaps to, to happen. So you can just move the shapes around until everything sits in nicely. Okay, so once you're happy with the legs, we then can move on to the feet. So the feet were just semicircles pretty much. So I'm just going to put a circle in there and then I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm just going to change that color to visible and then I'm just going to 
cut away that part of the circle. So I'm going to hold both, um, press shift to highlight both of them, click divide, and then I can uh, actually delete. And so that will leave me with the half a circle. So I'm just going to move that over. And there's my feet. So the final thing that we have to do is just to create the arms. Now the arms are just, um, we would just take the neck and we do bend it a little bit, but we want to kind of make sure that we don't make it look that obvious. So I want that curve to still, and then I'm just going to send it to the back. So range back. Once I do that for one side, I can do it on the other side and then just uh, rotate it around. And you, you can play around with, you know, how long you want the arms and things like that. But anyways, um, that's the majority done of this uh, 2D character. So once you're happy with it, you know, you can save it as a, you know, a vector graphic and then you can use it in your artworks and things like that. But that's just a simple way of creating a 2D flat character using Adobe Illustrator. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.